Hey third graders, I'm definitely missing you guys a lot. Um, I'm going to walk you through the steps of getting started on the SBAC. Today you're going to be practicing the math portion of the test. So let's begin by opening up, um, or you've already opened up Mozilla Firefox. So actually you're going to open up a new tab in order to go back and forth between this video and what you're supposed to be doing for the SBAC. So just like I have these two tabs right here. Pause and go do that now. All right, so you're back. So in that new tab, you're typing, I'm not already on it, but you're going to be typing google.com. And look at that, we have a special doodle today. So we're going to be typing what we typed before, which is SBAC practice test. Press enter. Now pause it so that you can type that in your search bar. All right, so you've already typed SBAC practice test. As you may assume, it's the first link, or as you may have guessed, it's the first link because that's the one that we've uh, been looking at from before. So you're going to click the link and you're going to scroll down and we're going to click the one the option that says student interface practice and training tests. Go do that now. All right, so we're back again. It says the please sign in page the day of the test. You will have all this information, your confirmation code, your SSID, your session ID, but today we're just gonna sign in as a guest. And yes, we've done this before where we have to select from the drop down menu, your grade. So we're choosing third grade and we're going to click where it says yes. Okay, so pause and do everything I've done up to that point. All right, so now we're at um, the list of tests and we did the start ELA grades third through fifth training test last time. Today we're going to do the start math grades third through fifth training test. So let me click it right here. Um, on this page, you're going to just scroll down. You're not going to get to choose your settings, so you're going to just click select. It says, is this your test? The day of the test, it will have your session ID and it will be asking you to confirm whether or not that is your test. For right now, we're just going to click yes, start my test. Um, so test instructions and help. We're going to be finishing, kind of going over some of the things we, we really looked at last week. So we're just going to skip over this part and click begin test now. All right, perfect. So we're gonna do the first three questions together and then you're going to do the remainder, it's only six questions by yourself individually. Um, you should have scratch paper and a pencil. If you do not, please raise your hand to let Ms. Villagda know. All right, so we're gonna start with the first question. It says, each page in a picture album has three rows and four pictures fit in each row. How many pictures fit on each page? So pause to try to solve this problem. All right, so if you said 12, you are correct. You were, or they're asking you to multiply three times four and three times four is 12. So let's bubble that in. But let's practice that strike through that we've been learning about. So we're gonna right click over A, we're gonna click strike through, we're gonna right click over B, click strike through, right click over D, click strike through. Do that now and pause. All right, that means you're back and you've been able to strike through three of the options. Now we're going to go up to where it says next because we are ready to go to the next question. All right, so this one you can also do on your scratch paper. We're subtracting 256 from 904. So do that now. All right, so you're back. So in order to practice putting the numbers in, we're going to put, um, you can use this number pad or you can type it in with if you place your cursor in that box, you can type in the number. So you can click the number like so, and then you may click to the next question. 
Okay, so three is can be a little tricky because they're fractions and they're asking you to drag each fraction to the number line. And I'm going to show you how to do this question. But first, let's practice one of the navigation tools, which is the following. Let's say you are having problems with this question or you want to mark it for, um, for later, meaning you want to come back to it later. You can click this little menu over here, kind of like a drop down menu, and you click mark for review. And as you can see, your little page is folded. Now, I like to draw when it comes to fractions or have little scenarios. So what I'm going to do, and you're not going to be able to do this, but you can do this on your scratch paper. I'm going to copy, I'm going to do a screenshot of this. So let's see. Screenshot that, and then I'm going to open up my paint. And again, you're not going to be able to do this on the test, but I'm doing this just to show you this question. Okay, so it says drag each fraction to the correct location on the number line. So first let's start with, let's get a little paintbrush. Let's start with this one, 5 over 5. Now 5 over 5, if you divide 5 over 5, you get 1. So 5 fifths is 1 full. So I would move the 5 over 5 over the 1. So I'm going to go back to my test and I'm going to click the 5 fifths and drag it on the 1. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my paint and I'm going to look at this one. This one's pretty simple as well. So if we were looking at 4 over 1, 4 divided by 1 is, yes, you guessed it right, it's 4. And I see 4 holes over here, so I'm going to put the 4 over 1 right there okay so I'm gonna go back to the test and you can do this with me you're clicking and you're dragging if you need to pause please pause at any time or rewind just a little bit if you need to hear what I'm or hear me repeat something okay so now let's get down to the drawing part so we have one fourth and two fourths I'm gonna go back to my painting and I'm gonna focus on the one fourth um, let's pretend that Miss Maldonado has brought a chocolate bar. And it's kind of a bad chocolate bar. It's all squiggly wiggly. Oh well. Okay, that's pretty good. So if we can tell, there's four pieces to this chocolate bar. Let's make these lines a little bit more definite, like that. It kind of reminds me of a, of a Hershey bar, right? So if I have four parts of this chocolate, that's one fourth. Um, there's four parts of the chocolates, but I want to give one fourth of my chocolate away to, let's say, Miss Rodriguez. So I'm going to color in the piece that I'm giving away. Okay, so that's one fourth. That means that I would have three parts left. So one fourth is over that first little line we see, that first little piece of chocolate. So I'm going to go back over here, and the one-fourth is this first piece of chocolate, right? Now let's say Miss Tran comes, and she wants two-fourths of the chocolate. So she wants two-fourths of the chocolate, and I haven't shared with anybody. Now if I look at the paint sample that I have, so I'm going to give her two pieces. There's one, one piece, two piece, three piece, four piece. Now that means I have to fill in this second piece over here. That would be two-fourths on that second line, which also kind of looks like, and it is, but half of that chocolate bar, right? So if you take a look, two-fourths would be half of a chocolate bar because each person could get two pieces. All right, try that now. Um, one other thing is if you need to go to the bathroom, you're going to have to learn how to save your work. So let's try saving and also pausing. It says, are you sure you want to pause the test? If you pause your test for more than 20 minutes, you may be unable to make changes to questions that you've already answered. Ask your test administrator before pausing your test. And we're going to click yes. And that, that means that you would have to sign out. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back into the test like I showed you in the beginning of the video and you're going to go back to question number four to complete the remainder of the test. If you have any questions, please direct them to Ms. VA exam.